So if you guys are anything like me, you guys probably spent most of your childhood after school coming straight in, running up to your Xbox, turning it on, and playing your favorite Need for Speed or Forza games. Now those games were awesome because you could really change anything about your car that you wanted. Now one mod that I completely overlooked as a kid was the instrument cluster. Now in the video games, it doesn't really make a huge difference because you're not usually looking at your instrument cluster when you're driving. But nowadays, when you have the car from Need for Speed, that you always wanted, it makes a lot bigger of a difference because that's where you're sitting the entire time, that's what you're looking at. So today I'm gonna show you how $15 worth of LEDs can completely change the way that you see your IS300. So I really couldn't come to a decision on what I think would look better, whether the blue or the white would. So I got both. So we're gonna put both of them in today. Whichever one looks better, honestly, we'll probably just keep in. I might try a little combination of the two, see if See if I'm feeling a little saucy today, but I don't know. So we're gonna start out with ones in the cluster. Obviously we gotta take two screws out of the top of there. And there's one down here, right under where the key goes in. Then this whole panel we'll just pull out and we'll be able to get to the cluster itself. So now with all our screws out, we're gonna wanna move the steering wheel out of the way. You wanna be careful when you're pulling it out because that Little switch right there has a little connector going into the back of it. So when you're pulling out this big piece, you're gonna have to unplug that before you pull it all the way out. We can set that piece aside and now we can work on our cluster. So you can see there's gonna be three screws. One at the top, one right there, one right there. So we'll go ahead and get those out and get that cluster out. Of course, there's gonna be a couple connectors back here. Make sure you unplug those before you pull it out. And then this guy just rotates out. So now we flip it over to the back so we can see all of our bulbs. We've got three of these bigger bulb sockets. These guys all have to come out. Then these two blue ones are gonna be the ones that we're gonna be removing and replacing with our new LED setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out now and we'll get the LEDs put in. These guys are just a little quarter turn to the left and then they pull out and you can see that's the OE bulb right there with the little condom on it. That's what makes these look orange. So we're gonna replace that with a nice bright shiny LED. So these sockets, once you get them out of the cluster, you just gotta pull the bulb out of the socket and you're left with this little piece of plastic and this little bulb with condom on it. So the bulb can just be thrown away. That's gonna be replaced by our new LEDs. For the bigger ones, we have these full-sized LEDs that we're just gonna plop back in, same exact way that the bulb set in. So we're gonna put these in and see what they look like. Now the blue ones are gonna be the same basic concept, just a smaller bulb. And then taking their place are gonna be these little blue printed circuit board looking bulbs. Pull the old ones out of the socket, Place them with the LEDs. So before we throw it all the way together, you guys can see all this shit is still loose and I haven't screwed anything in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights on just to make sure that everything works because with LEDs, unlike incandescent bulbs, they do have polarity. So if you didn't plug them in the right way, they won't work, so you might have to flip them. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the lights off and then the lights on the car on. Ooh. That looks pretty good, but you guys can see we got a dark spot up here. That's likely where one or two of the LEDs aren't the right polarity, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap that and see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that LED out, swap the polarity, and throw it back in. All right, let's try this again. Ooh, baby! Oh, that's nice, dude! Okay, so I think I'm gonna try one more thing. I think I'm gonna try to throw white LEDs on the sides and maybe keep the center blue. I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this? I really do like the blue though. I really do like the blue. I might throw the whites, I'm gonna throw the whites all the way in, see what that looks like, then take just the center and make that blue with the edges white and see what that looks like. Honestly, the camera doesn't necessarily do it justice because it's so blown out, but it looks good, guys, it looks good. Especially when you compare it to just the blown bulbs on the AC controls, that's clean. So unfortunately, the white and blue didn't kind of come out the way that I wanted it to. You can see there's still a little blue up there, but honestly, the white's looking 
pretty good. I don't know, man. I might have to go with the white. Oh yeah. I think I might have to go with white. That looks really good. All right, so now that we got the white LEDs installed, you guys can see how delicious that looks. Oh my God, it's so sick. But that's still not great. So we gotta do the same treatment to the center console. Of course, we gotta start off taking this guy out, taking this guy out, and then hopefully we'll be able to take our AC controls out. There's a little cover that we can just pry up on with the pocket screwdriver. That guy just comes out. Two screws up there. So of course we got bolt there, bolt there, bolt up here and a bolt up here and the whole radio and AC control assembly is gonna pull out as one. And then we'll be able to get to the back of that. Now with all the hardware out of that, that can just come out. And of course they can't make it easy on us. We're gonna have to disassemble this thing. So I'm gonna have to take the AC controls off these two screws on the side bracket, and then we're gonna have to actually take that back cover to access any of those bulbs. Oh, also, since a lot of people were talking in my uh, solder versus crimping video, they were talking a bunch of crap about how the back of my stereo would look like if I only crimp stuff. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Clean, very nice, professional, you know? Never gonna fail. I will die on this hill. Crimping is better than soldering, I don't care. I will die on this hill. So I've got AC controls separated from the stereo. Now, as you guys can see, we have four screw holes and then on the top and bottom, we've got these clips that we have to disengage to get the back cover off. Now with those clips disengaged, you guys can see the whole thing will open up. Here are our bulbs. Honestly, you could pull the ribbon cable and separate this whole thing, but there's not really a point to. Just be careful, make sure you don't damage that. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw the bulbs in. We got all these guys. These ones are actually easier because you don't have to replace a bulb, you just replace that whole little assembly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so that is with all the blue ones installed. See, that looks pretty nice. I think it kind of clashes with the white of the actual gauge cluster. So I'm gonna swap that out. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, with the white in the LCD screen, that's really bright. So I might go white on the controls and blue on the LCD screen because, I mean, unless I dim it quite a bit, that's gonna be too much for driving at night. All right, so honestly, I kinda like the blue LCD screen with white everywhere else, just because the LCD screen is super bright with the white LEDs in there, so I don't want that distracting me from, you know, like these guys or the road. So I'm honestly super stoked about how everything came out. The lights look so good compared to the old ones. Honestly, that old orange just made everything look super dated and super 90s. This kind of brings everything into the new century, so I'm stoked to see it I'm stoked to finally have all this stuff installed in my car and actually like it it looks a little bit better now it looks a little more contemporary so I'm gonna go ahead and throw everything back together I'll meet back with you guys once it's all assembled all right guys it's all done look at how good that looks look at how good that looks so you guys can kind of see the blue up here kind of matches the blue down there. That's the only reason that I decided to stay with that. It's less harsh on the eyes and it has something that it matches to on the interior. All the rest of it is white and oh my god it looks so nice. So with that I'm going to conclude today's video. I'm probably going to put a little POV drive of this thing now that it's got the new lighting set up. So make sure to stick around for that. I'll see you guys next time.